imagine the last six hours, if you're just sitting in one space here, you'd have seen the hippo come past, the giraffe come past, there's some hyena tracks, they were coming past as well. For now, we're just going to follow it and stick with that giraffe. Gorgeous. Sorry, how did this go again? You broke up? Guys, a stunning, stunning male giraffe. And this definitely is the same bull that we saw yesterday, sort of later in the afternoon. Beautiful markings. Nice and dark in color, very healthy coat, healthy skin. You can see a couple of old scratch marks there. That would be combined from, mainly just from sometimes running through thorn bushes, fighting a little bit with other males and maybe the odd scratch from a lion as well. He's probably, like I said yesterday, it's always hard to guess or estimate exactly how old they are, but this guy is probably about 16, 18 years old and in very, very good condition. But in that time, he would have had a few battles with other giraffe and with predators as well. Look at those oxpeckers cleaning out all the little corners. Red bolt oxpeckers, and he's busy eating some acacia leaves there. You can see the little yellow flowers on it. Little pom pom like flowers. Fantastic birds, oxpeckers. We haven't actually spoken about them in depth for a while, but they, again, very unique. Maybe like the giraffe. Like I said, the giraffe is really specialized in a specific niche, something where there's not really competition for, for giraffe. They're the only ones that feed at that height. And oxpeckers are the same in a way. Like a lot of your insect-eating birds, you know, bee eaters and rollers and so on, they've got similar niches and they all have a little speciality. Oxpeckers are very specialized. They need large mammals. If there wasn't things like giraffe and buffalo and kudu around, oxpeckers wouldn't actually be able to survive. It's a very classic, or probably the classic, example of a mutualistic relationship, which is one of your symbiotic relationships. People often confuse the two. They think symbiosis means this kind of relationship that oxpeckers and animals have. But keep in mind, even parasitism is a form of symbiosis. Mutualism, per definition, is a relationship between two different species where both species benefit, in this case the giraffe and the oxpecker benefit, and one of those species is dependent on that relationship for survival. So that means if there weren't large mammals around, oxpeckers wouldn't be able to survive. A little bit of textbook definitions there, but um, sometimes interesting to know those as well. Let's go look at some more behavioral stuff. Get a bit closer. Luckily, the road curves in that direction. <laughs> Giraffe's adamant to stay behind the trees from us. Another gap up front. There we go. Eating some knot thorn leaves now, just making his way from one tree to the next. Lots of good food out here at the moment.
imagine the time this animal spends every day just feeding. You often talk about elephant, how much time they spend feeding. Elephants will spend 16, 18 hours a day feeding quite easily. Also giraffe need to spend a lot of time at it. Even though there are ruminants, so comparing again to an elephant or a rhino, they digest their food much better because of having a more complex stomach and also a different way of feeding and regurgitating and ruminating and all of that. So it means that they only need about half the volume of food per weight compared to uh, some of your other big animals, but it still, still adds up to a lot of food they need to eat every day. For a giraffe, you're probably looking at about 30 or 40 kilograms it's about 90 pounds or so of leaves every day, so it takes a while. Look how neatly it's stripped all those leaves. You look at the tips of those branches, all the fresh young leaves, ones that are tasty and full of nutrition, just neatly strips it off. Even at the tip of those, there'll be little thorns. In this case, your knob thorn also has, you could call it a hook thorn if you wanted. It has these little sharp hook thorns, but for the giraffe, it's not much of a problem. You just... Uh, Sort of strips the leaf off or leaves off around them. Very tough lips, tough skin on the inside of the mouth, tongue itself as well, and they also have a very thick sort of slimy saliva, which helps to sort of lubricate the process. So they they uh, don't actually have too much of a problem with some of these smaller thorns. Look at that nice and close in there as well. Look at how it's going to strip those leaves. Nice mouthful, long lips. You can see very sort of prehensile lips almost can really move them around and bend and twist to get to the tasty bits of whatever leaves they're eating. Oxpeck are also a very specialized mouth. It's actually got uh, almost like a comb structure in the beak. Very hard to see. You'll have to go catch a bird and then look in close. But they can literally comb and brush through the animal's hair and that way get all the ticks. Oh, fantastic view of this giraffe. Nice to see him again. He might be around for a day or two. Although in his condition, I'm sure he's going to be walking around looking for some ladies. <laughs>